Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving on the north coast of Jamaica and we are going to talk about the tourism in Jamaica. More specifically, we're going to talk about some US billion dollar investments in hotels in Jamaica. Now, Jamaica doesn't have the most hotel rooms in the Caribbean as of today. But Jamaica is growing faster than any other country in the Caribbean rebuilding our hotels. The Dominican Republic has the most hotel rooms today. And the Bahamas is also another popular tourist destination in the Caribbean and Jamaica is probably number three but that is changing you could add up the amount of investments in the Bahamas in hotels and the Dominican Republic and Jamaica has more investments rebuilding our hotels than those two other Caribbean countries now the, Carib the Dominican Republic has 80,000 hotel rooms. Jamaica today has 30. But within the next 5 to 10 years, Jamaica will have 50,000. That is the rate at which Jamaica is growing. Jamaica is building more hotels than any other Caribbean country. And it's investor, foreign investors that are building, it, building them. Let's go through some of them. Grand Bahia Principal, a Spanish hotel in St. Anne, the largest hotel in Jamaica, over 1,350 rooms. And the hotels in the Bahamas, they, don't, they are not that big. Probably a thousand rooms is the average hotel in other Caribbean countries. The, the, but Grand Bahia is expanding. They are spending 1.5 billion billion US to build two more hotels on the north coast and they're going to break ground this year. Secrets is building a second hotel in Jamaica in Runaway Bay. All of them we're talking about are on just the north coast. Just the north coast. As I said at the beginning, no other Caribbean country has this kind of investment in hotels right now. No other Caribbean country is on pace to build 20,000 hotel rooms within the next few years. Jamaica is leading the way. It's just a matter of time before Jamaica is the number one tourist destination in the Caribbean. And it's just a matter of time before Jamaica has the most hotel rooms in the Caribbean. We really have to give credit to the government and especially the Minister of Tourism because he's doing an exceptional job. I think everybody can agree. Never before has so much investments come into the country at one time, really building our hotels and more are coming. All right, so we talked about those two. Then in Harmony Cove is another US $1 billion project to build hotels, golf courses, the whole nine yards. That's also supposed to start this year. Then you have the Pinnacle Hotel in Montego Bay. Over $1 billion they're spending to build that hotel. Massive. It's going to be the tallest building in Jamaica, that hotel. 28 floors. It will be the tallest building in Jamaica. Now the Pinnacle, not Pinnacle. Um, oh my gosh. There's a hotel being built in Hanover. Princess Resorts. It's going to be over 2,000 rooms. It's going to be the largest hotel in Jamaica. Remember, Grand Bahia is 1,350 rooms. It's the largest now. It's open. It's up and running. Princess Resorts will open this year, and that's going to be 2,000 rooms. 
But remember, Grand Bahia is going to be building two more hotels. But for now, the Princess Resorts will be the largest hotel in Jamaica. It's in Hanover, but it's listed as Nigrid. The largest hotel in Jamaica. 2,000 rooms in one hotel. Then you have the Hard Rock Cafe. That group is building three hotels right beside each other in Montego Bay. Just on the outskirts of Montego Bay. So the amount of money that's coming into Jamaica to build hotels has never been seen before. These are mega projects. Sometimes you have to wonder where is Jamaica going to get the labor force from? Because if these hotels have not started construction already, they are going to start this year. The fastest growing, I mean, you have the normal areas, Negril. Montego Bay, Ucherios. Jamaica is growing so fast that you have Cooper's Pen in Trelawney. Hotels going up all over the place. That's going to be another major tourist destination. The entire north coast of Jamaica is going to be booming with activity. So Jamaica is leading the Caribbean in terms of building hotels. More hotels are being built in Jamaica than any other Caribbean country. More hotels are being built in Jamaica than any other Caribbean country. We will have 50,000 hotel rooms within the next 5 to 10 years. And it's just a matter of time before we pass the $80,000 the 80, room mark. Just a matter of time. We're on track to do it within the next 20, 15 to 20 years. And you see this road we're driving on? Straight ahead is a Rio. That's Cooper's Pen straight ahead that you're looking at. And that's a new Rio. 754 room hotel. The seventh Rio hotel in Jamaica. The seventh. That and Rio is another um, Spanish brand. This is the Northern Coastal Highway. The government is putting in the infrastructure and the hotel groups are seeing it and that's why they're coming to Jamaica because of the beaches, the infrastructure, the, the airports, everything is being put into place and it's coming together. That's why I say we really have to give credit to the Minister of Tourism. He has really, and the government, they have really put it together nicely. This road we're looking at is actually going to be expanded to four lanes and another highway, a toll road is going to be built leading to Cooper's Pen because the area is growing so fast. Not to mention Jamaica has a number one cruise ship pier in the Caribbean in the Falmouth cruise ship terminal. The number one cruise ship pier in the Caribbean and Falmouth is not even one of the major tourist destinations in Jamaica. Yet they have the number one cruise ship here. So the potential for Jamaica and tourism knows no limit. Alright guys, let us know what you think about Jamaica leading the way for the Caribbean in terms of building hotels. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.